हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू यूनिवर्सल टेस्टिंग मशीन एंड टेंसाइल टेस्ट एज वेल एज स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन कर्व सो लेट स्टार्ट so this is the universal testing machine that you can see this is the universal testing machine so it is breaking into two parts so this is the uh, this is the controller part or controller section which is used to apply the load on the machine on the universal testing machine and here we have a hydraulic fluid that is filled inside this cabinet here it is filled we have hydraulic fluid basically it is oil mixed with some solvents so when we apply the load from this um, controller then this hydraulic fluid there is a ramp at the bottom this ramp it applies force on this fluid now this force indirectly it gets transmitted to these cross rails so one so there are two cross rails so these rise up and this is the fixed portion so this is the fixed portion we have two chucks that holds the work piece so this is the bottom chuck this is the top chuck and this entire part it is known as movable upper cross head and when these rails rise so this along with the rails it rises up so as the load or pressure increases this applies force in the upward direction and this upper cross head it moves upwards so and on the left side this figure you can see this is the test specimen so this end it is placed here at this location it is mounted in the chuck and this is the lower part of the specimen this is mounted on lower lower chuck so this part it is fixed this part it is fixed in the lower chuck and this upper part along with uh, this cross head it moves upwards so this it gets elongated while this is fixed i hope it is understood so the original gauge length was l and this this keeps on happening and the elongation keeps on happening and neck formation is there so this is just before fracture point and from this point afterwards it fractures so in the stress strain curve i will be explaining all the detailed steps and what are the various points in the stress strain curve so here is the stress strain curve as you can see stress is on the y axis whereas strain is on the x axis and uh, this stress strain diagram it shows that stress first linearly increases along with the strain then we have this yield yield point or proportional limit so if the if the stress is released or if further no load is applied on the specimen then it will be reverted back it will be reverted back to the original position that means if suppose this was the length and uh, so this is within elastic limit so before this point it is the elastic limit after this point is the plastic limit up to the fracture point so before yield point or proportional limit we have the elastic limit so the elastic limit that means that if before just before this point if the load is removed then the elongation that has happened up till now it will be reverted back that means the deformation it will not happen no there will be no permanent deformation there will be temporary deformation and the test specimen will return back to its original shape and size just before this point that we call as proportional limit or yield stress point then as we move further then the strain it does not vary linearly along with the strain 
So here we see that from this point onwards there is a plastic deformation. So if the load or stress keeps on increasing then if we come into this region after this yield point then if we keep on increasing the load then there will be plastic deformation and it will be a temporary deformation. So the even after removing of the load just after this point suppose we come here and drop the load then also the deformation will be permanent. Then there is a point which is known as ultimate tensile strength that is the highest point in the curve and here the tensile strength or the stress is maximum and, and this point onwards the neck formation happens. So the tensile specimen so the neck formation happens this kind of neck formation and even if we keep on increasing then at some point this breaks off and, and we get two pieces like this so ultimately it fractures and uh, this is the stress versus strain diagram and we can find the strain that is the deformation upon the original length so deformation will be final length minus initial length upon initial length so this is the strain we can find out the percentage reduction in area we can find out percentage increase in length and so on so this was the stress strain curve and the uh, universal testing machine and the universal testing explained so i hope you have found the video helpful please press the like button please share it and please subscribe and press the notification bell i would be seeing you in the next video till then take care bye bye